What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the RNG based leads and how people think they're kind of unfair. This has been a big uh, topic in the community, considering a lot of people are having a lot of trouble finding the uh, kilt lead in Shadowfin. It took me around three days to get the kilt lead in Shadowfin to drop. Uh, I know some people are still there. They have been doing it for a week now and still can't get it to drop here on console. Um, and then some of the other leads were very easy to get. The other leads did not take me that long. I think the, the next longest lead uh, was probably the Runes of Mazatun. It took me about nine trips to get it to drop. The rest were done very, very quickly. So I got everything else done in a day's time, and it took me three days just to get the one lead from Shadowfin. Now, I'm no stranger to horrible RNG. Um, when I first started playing, of course, almost seven years ago now, when Melston Marina was introduced, I went into it uh, to begin with, and I'm not sure if most of you played back then or not, but at one point, you didn't get a guaranteed drop in Melston Marina. So you could go through Vet Maelstrom Arena and not get a guaranteed drop, because you used to have to play on Vet to be able to get any Maelstrom weapon. Um, and I played Maelstrom around 500 times before I got the Inferno Staff to drop. To this day, I've still never got the Maelstrom Lightning Staff. Uh, when it comes to some other things uh, in-game, it took me about four years to get the Burning Spell Weave Inferno Staff. I have still to this day not got the Medusa Inferno Staff. So when it comes to bad luck RNG, believe me, I, I understand how a lot of you out there are really upset with the RNG-based leads. Personally, I don't mind the system itself. I just think the percentages probably need to be turned up. If we look at things like the Thrash and Stranglers, uh, the one lead we had to go uh, get the uh, part from fishing took me probably just about like the, the kilt has, about two or three days to be able to get it. I know a lot of people had some big issues with the ring of the Pale Order. That was the one that I didn't have too big of a problem with. The Pale Order ring took me about a day to get all the leads together, but I know some people were uh, having some big problems with some of the leads in it as well. So I think that there just needs to be some type of system where it's a certain percentage across the board for every single lead, whether it be you know 20%, 50%, whatever the case is. I know a lot of people feel like the Shadowfin lead is below 1%. It is pretty wild that some people are still in there, like I said, to this day on console here trying to farm that lead after a week's time or more. Um, the rest of the leads seem like they're kind of turned up like really high. Like you're going to go in and probably get it within 10 or 15 minutes. I know there's a few people out there that went in and got the Shadowfin lead within 10 or 15 minutes. Went to a couple water nodes and had it done. I just think overall it needs to be balanced out a bit more. I think a lot of people would feel like it's more fair that way. Like I said, I don't really have an issue with the way the lead system is set up. But I do get why a lot of people feel like it is unfair because it is pretty ridiculous sometimes when you have to go out there and grind and grind. And I do like the grind for things like that because Mythic Items should be grinded for because it's something that is pretty unique in game. Sadly, most of them get nerfed, you know, within six months. The Kilt is a very good uh, Mythic. I think it will probably get nerfed as well. But anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Do you think the current system of getting leads is unfair? Do you think it's too RNG based? Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you'd like to hit the like, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.